Okay guys, welcome to another Mombuka Gaku Show video. And in, in the last video of part 2, I mean part 1 section 1 number 2, we have discussed of this example, which is resulted to 2, and in this video number 3. So, there is a trigonometry question again. So when x plus y is 2 pi over 3, and x is greater than 0, and y is greater than 0, the maximum of sine x plus sine y is what? And the minimum of that is what? So this is probably such a simple question. And if you want, if you just want to try to put a random number, then I suggest you to put it carefully, right? Because if you want to make, let's say you want to guess the minimum of this first, I mean the minimum of this, sine x plus sine y with the x plus y equals 2 pi over 3, you cannot put like x is 0 and y is 0, right? If you think that sine 0 plus sine 0 is 0, so you think that is the minimum, that is incorrect because the value of x plus y should be 2 pi over 3. So 0 plus 0 is not equal to pi over 3, right? So okay, so I want to write in the next paper. It is number 3 here. So when x plus y is 2 pi over 3, and we know the requirements there, and they ask the maximum of sine x plus sine y is what? And the minimum of sine x plus sine y is what? Okay, so the most simple way is to actually try to find the, the best addition for 2 pi over 3, which is pi over 3 plus pi over 3 is still. 2 pi over 3. So sine x is sine two sine pi over 3 plus sine pi over 3. Now sine pi over 3 it that this mean is sine 60 plus sine 60. Sine 60 is half root 3 plus half root 3 is equal to root 3. So that is the maximum of sine x plus sine y. Now let's find the minimum. For the minimum, we can actually make one of which is 0 and y is 2 per 3. So for example, 0 plus 2 pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3. So sine 0 plus sine 2, per 2 pi over 3, which is equal to sine 2 pi over 3, since sine 0 is 0. And 2 pi over 3 is actually sine 120 degrees. And this is equal to sine 180 minus 60 degrees. And this is sine 60, which is half root 3. Okay, so this is the minimum of sine x plus sine y. So to actually answer the question of addition like this, 2 pi over 3, x plus y equals 2 pi over 3 and the maximum of sine x plus sine y and the minimum of that question, we should actually find the simplest addi addition, right? We should not get really smart just to put, for example, pi over 4 or even pi over 6 because that's somewhat proved to be too complicated. But if you want to choose just one by one, for example, if you just want to try pi over 4 or an another angle that you want to know, just make sure that x plus y is 2 pi over 3. Then maybe you want to compare the results of that two to what value is the maximum and the minimum. Okay, so the maximum of sine x plus sine y is uh, that root 3. And the minimum of that is half root 3. So this is the answer to number 3. So that is x plus y to pi over 3, and this is the maximum, and this is the minimum. Okay, in the next video, we're going to discuss number 4. Thank you.